Kia ora everyone, I tell you what, you turn away for one second and then suddenly there's all these leaks and rumours for upcoming releases to be covered. It's going to take me a couple of days to get through all of this, but today I wanted to cover my thoughts on some of the upcoming LEGO Marvel releases. Dates for these mostly seem to be for April of 2025. Remember we do have some of the January information which I've already covered here on this channel a couple of times and we are bound to see images of those sets any day now. I really love covering upcoming sets like this and talking to you, the viewers, and guessing what's releasing and what we ideally would want to see, so if you enjoy this video liking and subscribing here, letting me know your thoughts down below helps to support this small channel. And so we start off with this one, set 76312 Hulk Monster Truck is the first set to talk about here, retailing for the price of 30 USD, so anywhere between 50 to 60 NZD ideally, but as always, be sure to anticipate a price hike. You never know these days. 229 pieces in total, and apparently the figures of Hulk and Thanos are said to be included here. I'm actually not too sure if those are big figs or not. I have to assume no. People do say that the big figs do carry a lot in that price point, and I think everybody would be very excited if you got two big figs for this price. Now in saying that, they have released that Thanos and Hulk quite a few times recently with a couple of minor changes, so some re-releases are never completely off the table. This doesn't do anything for me personally here, but I'm not the monster truck target audience for those sets. Those are clearly aimed at the kids, because kids love big trucks. Now this next one here is rather interesting, set 76315 Iron Man's Hall of Armor, retailing for 55 USD, which translates to 92 NZD, so I'm assuming anywhere between 90 to 110 for this then. 384 pieces in total, with about 5 minifigures I believe. This set here is a lot cheaper than the last Hall of Armor set, which ended up receiving discounts dropping it all the way down to that $90 price point. So in total now we've had 3 Hall of Armors if you exclude the advent calendar build and that tiny display item in the mansion set. The first release was this in-game one, which I think people were mostly on board with. I personally wasn't super sold on this idea, just felt like a very repetitive build, and I think that that Igor design is pretty low ball. This thing I think retailed for 100 NZD at release. Now the next version was this amazing little expansion set, an idea that is genius to me, though it is crossing over between comics slash video game slash cartoon based with the movies. Now I had my own little Hall of Armor build. This thing like the other ones was modular in its style, and I loved having a little stack of these on my desk. Even looking at this thing now, I think it might be one of the top sets from the 2020s era of LEGO Marvel. The set here was split down the middle in everything compared to the previous one. Half the amount of figures, half of the pieces, so half of the price. I have to assume that these sold quite well because we then had this remake release. Biggest positive here is the fact that it is based around Iron Man 2, and I love all of the references there to the past movie. I personally love when LEGO makes sets based on licenses in a retrospective sense. LEGO Iron Man 2 sets weren't a thing at the time of that movie's initial release, and usually retrospective sets crush it with the references and the identity of the movie or the show. Unfortunately, this set here released post the price increase of the 2020s and around when LEGO started getting some brainworms or something because this thing, despite using less pieces than the first set that released, was boasting a price point of 90 USD or 160 NZD. It's insane. Eight figures though, four of which were new here. I remember this set here being one of the first universally clowned on Marvel sets, which has been happening at a rapid rate now. Somebody really needs to do something about this. So this set here is a good decrease in the price. Price. Pieces wise too, it's only got about a hundred parts less than that overpriced set. Figures being included at this stage, we have a couple of rumors here. Pepper Parts, at least two different Iron Man armors, apparently Aldrich Killian and the Iron Patriot in a wide release set, not just an exclusive poly bag for pre-ordering a video game. It sounds to be based around Iron Man 3 then, which is really exciting. Iron Man 3 was the first non-Avengers movie within the MCU to get the Lego Marvel sets. They did miss that anniversary spot by two years, but still better late than never. It's pretty exciting to to see, I have to assume then that the Mark 42 will be one of the suits appearing here. A remake is going to be great to see here because we do now have armors for Iron Man as he appears in movies 1, 2, Avengers 1 and Avengers 2, so the initial Iron Man 3 minifigure is really out of place compared to the modern day looks now. Aldrich Killian and Iron Patriot are also welcome returns. I'm excited to see what Aldrich Killian looks like because I'm sure he's going to appear a lot more accurate now in his design. This is sounding like a really good set for me. The next set here is a long time coming. Some would say too late. Me, I'm that someone. Lego set 76316 Galactus vs Fantastic Four, priced at 60 USD, so I'm expecting this to be around 100 to 120 NZD, 427 pieces in total here with this set. It's a bit of a hike compared to the previous set there, but let's go into it. I was going to originally just completely write this thing off when I first heard about it, but apparently 
rumors are saying that it's going to be comics based this is going to fit in with the style and aesthetic of my personal collection that i've had displayed for years lately i've only been displaying comics and cartoon stuff i've really kind of gone off of the mcu stuff over the past couple of years now obviously we are going to be getting a movie set of some sort later on when that movie releases presumably a couple of months after this one because the movie's coming out around the summertime if i had to guess then i would say that these comic characters here are going to be using prints and or pieces that can be reused later because it is a rather expensive of set compared to the hall of armor that we just looked at so presumably that price hike there is because of all of the special printing that the fantastic four are going to be needing i'm assuming it's going to be just the main gang here just those four team members plus a build of galactus who initially i was hoping would kind of be like a minifigure format because that's how he appears in the video game but obviously with that piece count i'm going to assume that this is going to be something like the sentinel or that surtur thor set that's just released that's going to be your whole set here as for what appears in the movie base set it's got to be the fantastic car these are my only two conditions here if they are both met i will be very happy and i will accept the fact that lego are years too late for this if you give me both the car and this comic set and two unique variations on each of the characters then all is forgiven for all you helmet fans out there, set 75327 is an Iron Man helmet releasing alongside these here, retailing for 70 USD, which translates to 117 NZD. I think that matches the current helmet's price point, I'm not too sure because I don't pay attention to the helmets. There's no current piece count though, interestingly enough, this here should serve as a remake of the previous Iron Man helmet. I'm not a helmets person, like I've said, and actually the Iron Man helmet was one of the weaker looking ones to me, so I'm hoping to see some improvements here because it'd be cool if a helmet could release that converted me over. That does us for the April stuff, but we actually do have a couple of other listings here with some missing release dates, but we do have some general information here, so let's talk about them. Avengers Endgame is going to be getting another Final Battle set remake. This is now the fourth time that we will be getting something here in five years. Set number, not too sure. Pieces also unclear, but the price is sitting at 100 USD, so around 170 NZD. This does match some previous sets that have released. Let's talk about it. Reported figure lineup here is pretty appealing. It's said to be getting Captain America, Doctor Strange, Iron Spider, Falcon, Ant-Man and Wasp together again, which is pretty cool, took them long enough, two Chitauri soldiers because, of course, you gotta have those guys, and a Thanos big fig again. Thanos has been appearing in so many places, so there are plenty of options for those still looking. My thing here is, like I mentioned, we've been getting the same thing from in-game quite a few times now, so build-wise, I'm feeling pretty meh with this idea. The other thing here is that clearly this is LEGO's next sub theme, these final battle type sets. This year we saw the release of this Age of Ultron one, which features all of the figures based on the opening scene of the film. I thought the build was rather interesting, appearing as a mock-like display and not intended as a playset. Before that we had the Spider-Man final battle set and the in-game final battle set, which appeared on these display-like bases to look like display items rather than playsets. Now as of recording this video, the upcoming Civil War airport set releasing has not had images revealed yet however they have leaked so i have seen what the set looks like i won't go too into detail right here but right now i can say i really hate the look of that set and now i'm starting to think i'm officially off this idea of the flat based battle scenes i had some issues with the spider-man and in-game set but at the very least the flatness isn't prevalent there these are just genuine sets the edge voltron one is a chunk of ground with 170 dollars slapped on it and every figure that you could hope for it's kind of like the counterbalance there i'm expecting this in-game one here to be the exact same thing then it's just going to be a flat ground maybe the van or something you might get like a little bit of scenery there and all of the minifigures there to just stand on a chunk of concrete it really doesn't help either that the movies are genuinely pretty bland within their visual storytelling with their scenery because what else is lego supposed to do here exactly i guess keeping my expectations pretty low with this one then we also apparently have some knowledge on the next large scale set here because a set listing of Tony Stark's mansion has been listed with an unknown set number and price tag but listed as containing 5,703 pieces releasing in April. A massive Malibu mansion set may be releasing next year and it could be the next Marvel modular set. We can see that we are getting some Iron Man 3 figures in the other sets listed. We're also getting some in-game people as well, so maybe they make a mansion and just include every single figure that's ever been close or near the mansion. I don't know, I assume that maybe another 10 figures will be included here, and actually, I guess they could just fill that line up with some armors for Tony or something. That's it from me today here with some Marvel news. There's quite a bit to look forward to here. I am keeping optimistic here with a couple of these things. My most anticipated, obviously, is the Fantastic Four set. I've loved them ever since those 
those silly but fun Fox movies released in the early 2000s when I was a child. I really thought that we would have had something by 2014, 15 at the latest after the superheroes game release. It looks like Lego and Marvel are starting to enter a panic here and quickly try to release as much X-Men and Fantastic Four stuff that they possibly can. What are your thoughts here on LEGO Marvel 2025 so far? You should let me know down below, liking this video here and subscribing to the channel does help to support more future videos like this one. Kakita everybody, thank you very much for watching, I hope to see you all next time.